you know, viewers of uh, Art Smiley and the artists who are joining us today and the guests and also all our customers who is going to watch us, uh, uh, this video. First of all, good evening and Ramadan Kareem to everybody. So today the session will go into you know, almost three parts. One is actually I'll be introducing about uh, Art Smiley and then I will be introducing our guests today to beautiful uh, and uh, very professional ladies are joining today in their, uh, um, in their own uh, field. And we also be talking later than each of the artists uh, um, and their profiles and the artworks, what we're going to showcase. So this is the kind of agenda what we set for today. Um, let's uh, kick start without wasting much of time because I know people are fasting and uh, if any inconvenience, uh, we apologize for the people because to set everybody, uh, you know, we pick the, uh, this is the time possible, uh, okay. So let's move on to the next one. Now we talk about uh, Art Smiley. Yeah, so who is Art Smiley actually? I mean, a lot of you or may not be completely knowing, uh, you know, uh, who is Art Smiley, what they provide uh, and what is their services. That's the reason, uh, I, you know, I always give a brief introduction to Art Smiley so that uh, the new people who are joining and new people who are listening us, uh, you know, can get an idea what we do. Okay. Art Smiley is a multi-sided online platform uh, where we connect uh, artists with potential buyers. Uh, this is a platform, as you can see, and where uh, artists can register their profiles and upload their paintings, and it goes to our curator for review approval. Once approved, uh, their works will be showcased in the public domain, and then we you know, start uh, marketing them uh, to connect with the potential buyers. In a nutshell, this is uh, an e-commerce kind of platform. Um, you know, I always uh, dream to be called us as a uh, and Amazon for artworks, okay? So that's uh, briefly about us uh, and uh, what are the services and products we offer? Before we talk about that, our mission, I mean, this is a very important statement. Uh, personally, you know, um, Art Smiley was born uh, with this mission, uh, you know, aiming to make art more affordable and accessible to all communities. Because if you look at the normal world, you know, we always see that art is uh, lying up with uh, some, uh, you know, uh, rich people or collectors, Yes, they are all required, but it also reach out to, you know, every one of us for different purposes. We all can use art, you know, it can be, you know, it can be your motivational purpose. It can be a decoration and it can be, you know, something else, you know, every one of them uh, uh, has its own, uh, you know, view and it can be used in different purposes. So this is main, uh, you know, is to make art more accessible and affordable uh, to all communities. And with that, uh, we can also provide a viable career to artists. Uh, today, a lot of the artists, uh, you know, they're either leaving this uh, art as a profession or they've been left and they're working part time because it's not viable career to them. Uh, and that's the reason they always uh, have alternative options and then this become a part time. So we want to change this scenario. And that's our mission. Uh, art Smiley was born with this mission. Okay. So the next, uh, we will be talking about our uh, products and services. I mean, obviously, you know, all the products, we sell all kinds of uh, contemporary arts and, uh, you know, sculptures. We also do uh, some kind of crafts as well. So there's a, a wide variety of uh, art pieces available with us. Uh, you know, we represent almost uh, 1500 plus artists uh, from over 50 countries. So what we provide, uh, we provide services to both B2B and B2C. That includes the sale of original artworks and uh, we sell art prints and we also provide uh, art rentals uh, and we do a lot of private commissions for uh, individuals and the corporate offices, uh, something very customized artworks. And we also do art consulting services so that is end to end uh, uh, consulting services. You know, we provide uh, to various people, uh, uh, you know, that somebody want to choose, uh, you know, colors for an uh, you know in building which is going on example and they want us to sell a match with their theme and uh, customize the painting we can provide and we, we we select the themes and we make the paintings and take the approval and then install it on their wall this is art consulting uh, we provide end-to-end -end services okay so that's all about uh, art smiley and uh, we've been operating uh, you know in this space since last uh, three and a half years this is almost fourth year uh, we are running and uh, you all know that uh, Aruna Alam, uh, she is the co-founder of this business along with me and myself, Lur Dalam. So we both manage this business uh, along with, uh, you know, we have a curator and art consultant, Mr. Vikash, also I will introduce him in a minute. 
Okay, this is in a nutshell about uh, Art Smiley and uh, what we do. So without wasting uh, much time, let's uh, introduce uh, uh, today's our guest of honor, uh, Ms. Isha Farah Qureshi. And uh, you know, I, I mean, she's an amazing woman. And uh, when I read her biography and stuff, you know, I, I really inspired her because she's a multi-talented uh, woman. And most important, she's a tech savvy uh, and she has a lot of expertise in artificial intelligence and machine learning and robotics. And she worked with uh, various different uh, organizations and she's currently working with another organization, prestigious organization uh, here in UAE as well. And she's also, as I said, a multi-gifted uh, uh, splendor, uh, which means a multi-talented uh, artist with different skills. Uh, as you can see, she's an international speaker and uh, is an international model, actress, social activist, professional dancer, and an artist as well. Uh, I mean, I don't know how she manages all this, but she can explain you that, um, but uh, she's, I mean, uh, it's brilliant uh, having that many skills and uh, how she managing her time, uh, you know, with all this. Again, uh, you know, she's always busy uh, in, in participating with uh, peasants and, uh, you know, our volunteering uh, for the betterment of the society as well. Isha prides herself in being a mankind volunteer supporting our, those who want it uh, the maximum. She's an active volunteer for numerous uh, social and global initiatives. Uh, along with this, uh, she got uh, so many awards and the patients, like example here, we showcased few of them. Uh, she's a Mrs. Universe in 2019 for Solidarity and Mrs. International uh, in 2018, Mrs. Universe Middle East uh, in 2019. So I would like to, you know, call on this uh, to Ms. Isha to speak about, uh, uh, you know, a few motivational words to our community and, uh, you know, talk about today's theme uh, as Ramadan, you know, we're exhibiting the artworks uh, of Ramadan. Ms. Isha, if you are there, uh, please uh, take the stage and talk a few words. Huh? Thank you very much, Narada. That was a very fantastic introduction about me. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much. I realized that, oh my God, did I do this? <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so much for that. I'm so happy, very glad to see you all, all the participants. And I can see there are some familiar faces. I don't know whether they get confused because they may be seeing me with the turban because, you know, it's a spiritual month of Ramadan. And we all are here, you know, to establish that close connection, the intense fasting. That's that's what Ramadan is all about. And uh, you came up with such an amazing uh, theme of, you know, celebrating art. Uh, on uh, Ramadan, uh, specifically uh, taking the essence of uh, this holy month, right? So a great applause to uh, Art Smiley. And very thank, uh, first of all, let me thank um, Aruna and Lourdes, who are the co-founders, as well as the curator Vikas, and all the participants for inviting me over here. Um, always, I love artists. There's no words to say, be it any kind of art for that matter. I feel that this is a, you know, a special gift that we get from the God, right? So uh, utilize that maximum, uh, however possible, whatever possible way, nothing should stop you. You should keep, uh, you know, exploring yourself, doing the search yourself, uh, implement it wherever possible. And especially for women, uh, painting and, you know, drawing, all this is, something we can always do. You don't really have to, uh, you know, get into a difficult situation of uh, leaving your profession, right? I'll come to that. So before that, let me speak something about Art Smiley. I was very, very excited to understand, uh, you know, the, the innovative thought process that you have to bring the artist across the globe, crossing the boundaries, uh, it doesn't matter which time zone that you live in, but then you brought everyone together on a virtual platform. So that is amazing because this is an online community for art. And I really like you, the way that you were explaining. It's an Amazon for artwork. Wow, that's fantastic. So this is a, a virtual platform wherein you communicate each other, you bring your artwork, you can have marketing yourself, sell, you know, explore, uh, showcase, right? And that, that's what my right understanding is for, um, uh, understood it rightly. So that is a very, very great process. But uh, to bring such an innovative idea, we waited all this year until 2020 and for the pandemic to come in, right? So we did not realize the importance of 
technology we did not realize importance of virtual platforms like this to connect each other so i think 2020 and the pandemic uh, taught us a lot of lessons a lot of innovative ideas brought uh, across you know that during this pandemic uh, uh, every industry suffered uh, their own part and art and um, entertainment industry is one such industry really really struggled a lot to come up because most of the art and entertainment is all about physical activities physical presence gathering so all this uh, really really suffered but that's where the innovative ideas like the online community plays the important role you know this is not a survival of the you know fittest we say it as survival of the quickest so how fastly you understand the requirement how fastly you adapt to the changes how fastly you uh, you know, move uh, along with the with the change of the the industries, the thought process, the people, the outlook, the requirement. So it's how fast you adopt to that change bring the success. So if you look at every industry, whoever has taken a step ahead for the change to happen, you know, only they really perform well. And technology is one area which really, really performed well during this time. And whoever adopted to this technology industry Really perform well as well. Do you agree with you or not? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay. There's no doubt. You know, if you ignore technology, then people will ignore you. Technology forever. is my first love. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, this, uh, as I said, you know, uh, having said that, you know, the current challenges uh, have thrown us, uh, you know, yeah. it's it's inventing ourselves anew. You know, that's what it makes every time we see it in a positive spirit. Uh, any challenge it comes on our way, you know, we have to invent ourselves and come move on. Yes. Otherwise, yeah, absolutely. So businesses are the humans, everybody, yeah, you know, we cannot move forward. Yes, yes. And Amazon is one such uh, company who have really uh, taken to different level. Zoom is another company which taken to different level. So imagine that when you call it as Amazon of artwork, so I'm so sure you are going to take art into a different level altogether, right? So um, I do, I'm an artist in terms of dance and, you know, other uh, entertainment industry, but not, a, you know, a expert painting or an artist like you all who I really respect uh, a lot. But yes, I do a little bit of work, but then my experience with the art is, uh, you know, uh, it's very minimal, uh, you know, not um, an expert to uh, speak or authenticate it and, you know, authorize way you know uh, to review that how your art looks like for me all the art is beautiful and i love artists and um, you know uh, if you've heard about art for you gallery uh, i've been associating with them and that's where uh, i have seen some of the familiar faces over here through them so so that's where i was too much into uh, you know uh, artist the art industry the canvas the paint the brush Otherwise, you know, uh, I would have been missing a big thing in my life. So thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, as an art lover, I always love to associate with Art Smiley uh, to uh, you know, be there along with their growth, uh, especially such an innovative idea of bringing the world together under one umbrella of art. So uh, yeah, I think I'm talking too much. I know many of them would be waiting to talk as well as uh, there are fasting people. They would be uh, you know, waiting for the time to break the fast as well. So a little bit of that I want to uh, conclude. Before I conclude, uh, I want to speak to the other participants over here. Uh, I know that uh, 21 artists we have today from seven different countries. And the most exciting part for me is that uh, most of them are women. So that is amazing, you know, so let's give a close to ourselves that we took a step forward, you know, to uh, be with our profession and uh, to bring our talent and our, uh, the essence, the X factor in us, you are uh, keeping it close to your heart. So that is amazing because always a lady, a woman, always, you know, going through a, a struggle period, a dilemma uh, between her professional cycle and family cycle, right? So I, I'm sure that many of them who are sitting over here will be able to relate to me because you cannot uh, go into a failure at any point in time. You need to be the best mother, you need to be the best wife, you need to be the best professional, you need to be the best uh, daughter, the best sister. Everywhere, the expectation for a woman is to be best, 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 
best best and we are struggling a lot to do our best to keep that best and we end up sacrificing our career sacrificing our dreams we end up sacrificing a lot of our talent as well so i keep saying this uh, you know uh, everywhere in all my speech i think wherever i have uh, you know given as a crowd like when we were in school and college you are into professional courses you are into lot of uh, um, you know activities you are the kala tilakam you are a crown winner of arts and entertainment you are a rank holder you are a sports champion but do you really uh, see the entire crowd say in the class we have 60 to 70 percent of the head count being a girl child we don't really see the 60 to 70 percent of the girl child once they pass out into a professional platform right so there is a lot of betterment over the time by 2021 and for the past decade there's a lot of improvement girls are coming ahead women coming ahead but there's a lot of you know space for improvement as well we sometimes tend to sacrifice but art is one such area where women can really become a star be it any part of the world be it any corner that you get if you have a canvas and if you have a brush you can make miracles right so that's an amazing uh, thing the amazing truth of being an artist so never ever allow your fire to go down keep keep the fire always up keep the spirit always up and come up with more and more powerful work and entertain and inspire the people and we as a woman want this record and um, you know you have to inspire yourself so that you can inspire others right so having said that i'm concluding it and uh, once again thank you very much uh, uh, art smiley for inviting me over here love you all and i'm eagerly waiting to see your paintings thank you so much isha for accepting our invite and uh, coming here and it's really nice to see you here and we are very very glad <laughs> thank you thank you so much yeah, thank you, Isha, and uh, the words that keep the fire, you know, going. That's important. Keep motivating all of you and, uh, you know, keep continuing fighting for uh, what you want to be, uh, you know, and you are all very clear, uh, you know, with art and everything <laughs> what you're doing as always, uh, you know, and there's, you know, multi-skill. One thing I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Isha has many skills and, uh, you yeah. know, she's accelerating. Not easy. Stuff. If anyone not says, easy, how exactly. are you doing it? You were telling me how you do it. It's not easy, of course, because when you when you focus somewhere, you may tend to lose focus on some other place as well. But uh, try to hold from all the anchors and try to balance it. That's more important. You know, I actually divide my life into a quadrant wherein there's a, a space for a dedicated space for a family, and uh, there's a space. Uh, one side is for profession, another side is for passion, other one is for the social life. So that's how my life is divided into. And then you know. Keep uh, yourself uh, focused. Keep hundred percent in everything you do. You don't have to focus hundred things, but whatever that you do, if you're able to give hundred percent over there, you will get hundred percent percent. Give hundred percent here, you get hundred percent percent. That's it. True. Absolutely <laughs> true. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Usha. And it's yeah. great words, uh, you know, keep, uh, as I said, uh, as everybody, you know, we have to work hard, you know, nothing comes easy in life, but focus is important. Uh, yeah. Let's move to our uh, next uh, guest, uh, um, Dr. Amani Al Hazari. Let me introduce. Uh, yeah, this is our uh, second guest of the day today, uh, Ms. Amani Al Hazari. She is a member of the Bahrain Art Society and she's an artist herself and she's a consultant, uh, clinical uh, uh, genesist. So Ms. Amuni al Hazari is a member of uh, Bahrain Art Society, winning local and international uh, prizes, exhibiting in galleries and taking part in uh, philanthropic activities, had only partially fulfilled uh, her ambition into becoming a well-recognized Arab artist with a mission in mind. She's actively involved in art activities and had conducted many art workshops locally and internationally. She's currently working as a consultant, clinical genesis, being passionate of science and art uh, made her very meticulous about producing high quality, unique paintings uh, that are enjoyed and appreciated by many fans and uh, art collectors worldwide. It's a really great uh, honor, uh, Ms. Amani, to inviting you to on this day today here uh, with the Ramadan Karim exhibition. Uh, 
um, as we already worked with you, we know your uh, works and uh, you know so talented artists along with us, uh, keeping the profession uh, on the other side, uh, you know, taking working as a consultant, it's again a full time role uh, and with managing all this again uh, as a big salute to all the women uh, who perform multitasking about I'm not you know, saying that man is under Leicester, but, you know, women always a pleasure, uh, you know, in this managing family, kids and profession and the hobbies, uh, you know, this is a great thing. And now without taking much of time, I invite uh, uh, Ms. Amani to speak a few words and, uh, you know, talk about, uh, you know, today's exhibition and share her views. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alam. Uh, thank you, Aruna, for the nice invitation. It's my pleasure to be with you. Uh, such a wonderful gathering with all, uh, these artists and um, whoever is interested in art in general. I would like also to thank Aisha for her uh, speech, uh, very, very inspiring speech, which uh, I don't have much to add since she has tackled many aspects of our uh, routine life as multitask uh, human beings. <laughs> well, to start with um, Ramadan Karim to uh, all of you. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with Art Smiley. Art Smiley, I find it as a, a pioneer platform in the Middle East. Uh, as you know, there are many international platforms with, with, which has the different you know, features, but what have attracted me with, uh, to Art Smiley is that it is uh, taking care of Middle Eastern and Asian artists, which is, which is very, very unique. And I found it very pleasant experience to work with the team in Art Smiley, especially uh, Mrs. Aruna. She's been of a great support uh, to everyone. So it is just like uh, working in a team, working in a with your family members. In addition to the well-structured website, which provides beautiful opportunities to artists and art collectors as well. It, it's, you know, it, it is quite um, amazing how in such a short time, this wonderful platform has reached to that level. So I'm quite optimistic that this is just the beginning and it will continue to uh, prosper and uh, have more success. So, uh, well, talking a little bit about myself and the challenges I have been through, uh, as an artist, well, um, I started painting since an early uh, age, since I was a kid. And since I had this interest um, in, in art and painting, plus being interested in science, had made me go through a very uh, challenging time, especially when I was a teenager, when uh, I had to decide on what to, uh, to choose for my career. So it might be surprising, but I was, I was, in, in, I was very hesitant to, to choose which career to go with art or to go with medicine. Uh, but the beauty in art is that you can always be an artist, no matter what other duties you are having. Uh, I cannot be a doctor unless I complete my certificate and get licensed. But uh, if I want to be an artist, there is always the chance to go. You don't have to have this licensing. And I know that, and you all know that there are many um, highly remarkable uh, international artists that have uh, no formal training in art. However, they have managed to uh, reach very, very high standards because there is always opportunity of self-learning. And here I can encourage everyone to pursue a career in art, no matter what your background is, no matter what your um, you know, uh, other duties are, whether you are uh, a housewife, uh, a teacher, or engineer. This is the beauty of art. It is not limited to certain, um, certain group who have just uh, the academic um, qualification. You can always uh, learn on your own. Uh, the, the resources are available everywhere. Uh, you can uh, learn from uh, your, the senior artist, uh, having personal tutor. There are many ways of doing it. And the essential part of uh, being successful in art is to have the, the, the taste first, the taste, 
and it, um, the skills will come on the way. Of course, the talent is, is, is important, but you can always work on it and improve it. And then through, throughout my career, I have noticed that uh, there, there have been many, many uh, individuals that they thought they, they don't have the skill to bait and they started with nothing. It's just they had the taste and they had the will to learn. And throughout, say, for example, five years, they have reached to almost a professional level. So do not hesitate to pursue a, a, a career in art, whether if to reach a professional level or just to have it as a hobby, as a stress reliever. It is always something uh, good to have it. Many people will ask me, do you have time to bait? <laughs> I'm, I'm a full-time doctor and uh, I'm a mother and there are many other duties as Everybody knows where a female would have, even if she's a single, she would have tremendous amount of duties to accomplish. So how, I'm, how I, do I find uh, the time to paint? Well, I always give the example of those who finish their work and go to the gym for, hour, for an hour or two. The same thing, uh, you, you can find time uh, to uh, practice uh, this wonderful um, hobby. If you if you if you allocate even like half an hour, if you are very busy, so yes, you can find time even with the busiest careers like uh, myself or like uh, you know uh, um, I believe many artists they are not uh, fully dedicated artists they are they they have their their uh, other duties as well, so yes there, there is always time to. Uh, to veins and enjoy the beauty of art and share your experience with your colleagues of the international artists. So uh, uh, this is a great opportunity through the, the platform of Art Smiley to get to know many artists and, and to get to know the team very closely. I mean, my experience so far with the Art Smiley has been wonderful. I've made some uh, commissioned art and it was a very successful experience I, and I would love uh, definitely to continue with Art Smiley. So again, once again, thank you very much for your uh, kind invitation. It's been a pleasure, although I'm, I'm currently on duty and I'm running a clinic, but I wouldn't refuse such sweet uh, invitation from your side. Uh, and hopefully in the future, we'll continue our collaboration. Thank you, Dr. Romania. It's a really so pleasure uh, with the short notice you being with us today. Uh, and uh, one thing I had to take from you is actually, again, you know, passion is very important, whatever the profession. And art is also need to be a gifted because not everybody can do become an artist, even though they try. But uh, yeah, something, you know, there is, there is an inner heart. You say that the skills comes, uh, you know, it's gifted. Uh, so... I would, uh, you know, uh, appreciate uh, your kind words to all our artists, and it's really great honor uh, to be, you know, uh, here with you, sharing the screen and talking, you know, sharing your words and experience, Dr. Ramani. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you Lovely to see you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So now, so let's uh, now go to introduce our uh, uh, curator and art consultant, uh, uh, Mr. Vikash. Um, so Vikash being with us uh, since last four years, I mean, uh, the journey started, uh, you know, the idea was initially discussed with him and then we established the business. Since then he's been, uh, you know, with us and supporting uh, whatever the way we are doing and, you know, uh, a lot of help being provided to us. Uh, and, uh, you know, Vikash is also, he has a master's degree in arts and aesthetics with over 12 years of experience uh, working with uh, national and international art galleries and museum schools in curating the art exhibitions. And uh, he's, uh, he worked also in the past, worked as a, um, as a faculty for Academy of Rivera in Milan and also for Delhi University. And uh, he also worked as a curator for National Gallery of Modern Art, uh, Delhi, India Art Fair, etc. He's currently working for one of the uh, prestigious uh, organization, uh, you know, uh, which is called FICI, uh, Federation of Industrial Correctly names to say that it's a Indian Chamber of Commerce like this, but it's it's uh, do all the industries comes under that umbrella. He's in, heading the 
you know, arts division and supporting this community a lot uh, around the world. I would like, uh, you know, Mr. Rikas to say a few words. Uh, please, hi, Vikas. Yeah. Pleasure to be uh, having you here. Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. So thank you to Ms. Isa Farah Kuresi and Ms. Amaniya Lazari for their kind and inspiring words today. So we have heard about their passion for this creative domain. So that's what like we all are here together. So the, this is the actual the passion which binds us together, the entire creative community across the border. So I would like to thank all of you for having me here to share the joy of viewing this wonderful exhibition, conceptualizing during this auspicious month of Ramadan Kareem. So as you all are aware, we have like 21 artists from various countries, including India, Pakistan, UAE, Russia, and Turkey, Kazakhstan, and all these places. They all have come together to formalize this exhibition. And I'm truly privileged to see these diverse works of many artists across the globe. So in due course, you will see the exhibition and witness the diversity in this, their art practices. So you will see a finest quality calligraphy in some artists' work. You will see a wonderful nail and string artwork. So, so I fortunately have seen in previous exhibitions, I interacted with those artists in the previous exhibitions. You will see wonderful of abstraction and some of the artists are truly inspired, inspired by their nostalgic memory of their livelihood, uh, uh, ch children time and uh, uh, memories they have collected through the nature and surroundings. You will see some powerful figuration also in this exhibition, like a, a artist who does a very powerful horse walks. I, I can see a walk behind loads like, a, I think it's from that same artist. Yes, so, uh, you're right. Yeah, it's a wonderful, like I, 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 I would like to like okay. that. Okay, so you are the proud, you have this proud position of this wonderful artist, very nice. And you will see some realistic arts also in this, like some of the artists who actually understand that this is the, the initial practice days when they started the realism, but to continue with this realism and putting in this context is really important. So it actually it takes back to the entire your like study and the educational domain era when you started your journey. Arts and culture, I'm just uh, talking about briefly about this like whole space, how we are just going through this current like tough time, if you say, or maybe unprecedented time. So it, it is the entire art and culture, the our creative industry, it's actually, it's a humanizing force that have a great potential to foster the entire community. It works on the collaboration, empathy, and it creates amity among the, the citizens. So it's not only the creative people, the entire society actually binds together this culture. So even in this tough time, you must have seen, it has played a vital role in supporting the society. So even in, through the visual medium or performance or writings or somebody is playing something and all the like social media channels that they have been using there, it as a resource to actually like create and uh, there's some kind of empathy among the citizens. So they are like some practicing doctors are here in this like exhibition. So they must have seen that this the impact on, on the people. And uh, I understand that in this tough time, every sector has got hit. Like uh, you name the sector, they have got hit by this recession or all, all, the, all, the, all these problems are there. But our industry, the creative industry, it is hugely hit. So as we can see, the nature of our business is mostly the live events we usually do, whether it's exhibition or performance or any kind of uh, st studio things. So whatever we do is like basically we want to interact with the art. We have been actually like stressed out or we have been got a fatigue of doing all sorts of like virtual viewing or private room viewing on all those things through the screens. So we actually want to feel the artwork and the texture and the composition and everything in like in, in close relations with the art. So, but so the, these things like, but still like we have we have this power. We have this like this art as a power as a tool to just like bridge those gaps in in the current time which has been like created. So uh, during this this tough time, I stand by the power of art and culture. Art actually joins the culture and speaks a universal language. So it has the potential to bring back the recovery. It helps us to heal. It provides livelihoods. So, so it has a several impact across the like different domains. 
and I must congratulate Lord and Lord and Aruna for creating such platforms which keeps alive this discourse, so which is much needed in the current time. So whoever is like basically creating such an exposition or bringing together artists, getting opportunity, we must salute those people. So provide opportunity for us creative people to keep their souls alive by sharing their creativity. And I would like to reiterate that the need of the hour is to support every artist and artisan. So people who are listening to this conversation, whether from any walks of life, their art aficionados or collectors or any kind of gallery or artist, we must support the creative people, whether arts or the artists or artisans across our like community and society. We actually have filled our life with so much of color, beauty, joy, passion, and innovation. And thank you and congratulations to all the participating artists for today's exhibition. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. And over to you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Ikasha. You know, it's always a pleasure uh, to having you here. And uh, as I said, uh, you know, we, we are with the vision uh, to encourage a lot of, uh, you know, upcoming talent uh, along with the experience so that they can have opportunity to learn and grow themselves. You know, this is where uh, we, we just want to be a pillar for them, a stepping stone uh, to accelerate their lives in the profession. So again, we are, we are working and we will continue to do whatever we could from our side. Thank you, Vikash, and it's a great pleasure to having you here. So now let's go into our main session of the day today. Um, we have, uh, as everybody mentioned a few times, we have 21 artists. They are participating in this Ramadan Kareem exhibition and they're all originated from around seven countries. So the first artist of the day, today we are introducing uh, uh, Ms. Ria Sharma. Uh, Ria Sharma is a Dubai-based award-winning artist. She was born in India in 1975. Being a civil engineer, she has fulfilled a successful professional career in construction for over 16 years. In 2009, she accidentally found herself uh, um, in the middle of paints and brushes. She started uh, practicing art in Dubai in the year 2009 with the desire to bring out goodness to society through art. She involves herself into projects that focuses on social issues such as uh, breast cancer awareness, women empowerment, refugee crisis, global autism awareness, and collaborating with uh, local special needs institutes such as census. So without, uh, you know, she has been achieved a lot of things in her career, again, being a civil engineer to art and I look at the art of the work. You know, I've been looking at uh, her work since, since last three exhibitions. Uh, they're really amazing. And she has mixed uh, Sufism and Cubism, you know, it, it has a, new, a unique style. Uh, and she's an applauded, uh, applaud, you know, a lot more applaud she has, and she's an award-winning artist. Uh, so let's welcome uh, Ms. Ria Sharma. Um, yeah, actually she's not here. She's not there yet? Okay. No, I'm, I'm here. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. I, I, I've listened to uh, Asha Ji. I listened to our chief guest Vikas. So yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Pleasure having you, Ria, here. Uh, please, uh, you know, showcase your works and talk about a few words. Uh. Um, I, I I did not uh, like a presentation or something, but maybe this is uh, this is the one I'm working. I'm as um, I described. I'm a civil engineer, so my work is basically derivative of same thing. I play with shapes, forms, and in a way, possibly built a subject in a blockwise construction. Um, uh, I, I as I said, I did not start the presentation already. Um, it was a pleasure to meet, and I'm very thankful to our smiley Naruna to be so kind and uh, making me also part of the family. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you. And your works are already there in the presentation. We can show you, and you can talk about them, no problem. Okay, sure. Yeah, please. yeah I mean, it's a great pleasure, Ria. I know it's too early for you. You are, I think you, I understood you are in US, huh? so it's, <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for joining so early. Yeah? So this is a uh, two of uh, Ria's works. Huh? Probably, Ria, you can explain. Huh? Yeah, um, as I was saying, uh, my work is most uh, uh, of what my background is, which is engineering, and I play with cubes and forms. Uh, generally, I, I uh, keep my subject monochromatic, and I use one color to bring out the, its importance. And my subjects are more in motion and momentum. So Sufism may be just one form of 
uh, subject, but actually I apply it to many other things. Uh, Sufism it doesn't, as we know, it is not a religion. Uh, it is a faith, it's a connection to ourselves. It's a way of uh, 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 connecting to divine and our Supreme Lord. So it is less of religion. Likewise, I have other subjects like ballerina. Now one will think what is the connection with ballerina and Sufism, but I would say as an artist, this is what we all want to do, isn't it? Find ourselves, find our true self and um, connect something which is more important to us as a human. And um, we try some connection to, to God. Uh, so yes, a ballerina is an artist and when she dances, she's just a, another Sufi, uh, so as horse. Uh, what I'm trying to say, I find peace. I find, um, uh, I, I reach my main purpose, uh, possibly not through quiet, calm meditation, but uh, motion, rhythm. I hope I didn't speak a lot and, and bored you. Yeah, this is another uh, form of the same thing, possibly more abstract and uh, possibly more in momentum. I thank you very much for this, giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Ria. I mean, as, as somewhere I read actually, Cubism plus, uh, you know, Sufism is Kufism, you know. Cufism, Somebody yeah. Wrote it. Kuf, yeah, Kufism or something, you know, it's, uh, you know, beautifully well written. And there, are, you know, recent, as I said, I've been, you know, seeing these works in last three exhibitions and a lot of applause and, uh, you know, some good creativity. Uniqueness is, is something I love enjoying your work. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So we're introducing our next artist, uh, Ms. Kasmin Naeem. Um, she's, an, she's influenced by her Saudi and Pakistani roots, uh, a versatile artist and Arabic calligraphist. Asmin has a passionate interest uh, in the art of uh, Islamic world, uh, art of the Islamic world. Asmin's work is a culmination of abstract modernistic painting techniques and uh, ancient arts of Islamic illumination Arbescu pattern, calligraphy, and uh, you know sacred geometry. She believes that the art of Arabic calligraphy is a lifelong learning. It is a journey where you don't just learn how to write letters, but you study some different aspects of human experience, such as humility, patience, self-discipline, and adab, manners. She adds that uh, every single calligrapher become a teacher because what you get, you give when you have the experience you have the you have to pass it on i don't you know disagree anything at all what she said actually it's more than uh, arabic you know letters it's it's about uh, what she mentioned about humility patience self discipline these are the some of the human experiences you go through with the calligraphy uh, miss aspin uh, the stage is yours to say a few words uh, about yourself uh, and uh, showcase your artwork yeah hello everyone assalamu alaikum uh, hope I'm with, uh, uh, audible, huh? Yes, yeah. it is. So, uh, here's my painting. Uh, I'm going to exhibit with the uh, Art Smiley, and uh, four of my artworks are there. So this is uh, basically my painting. I love to do, um, you know, this is hand painted, and this is uh, the first chapter of Quran. Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim, and I written this. If you are uh, seeing this, this is uh, calligraphy in Diwani script. So there are lots of scripts. Uh, even I uh, didn't uh, learn that's so why I'm self-taught artist. And uh, this is Diwani style. I practice, and it, it's the first chapter of Quran. I wrote with uh, acrylic. And there I use uh, gold leaves. Uh, but recently, as I started some digital artworks also, they are also present um, in this exhibition. So I want to show, and uh, uh, these are actually ready for <laughs> deliver. I wrap them. So this is my digital artwork. I want to show them, as you know, everyone. I wrote them on my iPad. And these are very high resolution artworks, basically 300 to 600 DPI I use. 
and uh, very fine quality of canvas, uh, everything I deliver worldwide even, and customized size and colors, uh, you know, I offer to my clients. So it's in brown color, but it should, it can be customized in every color you want. <laughs> if client wants in brown, pink, every color, as it is digital. So as uh, I said, uh, my artworks are calligraphy and um, mostly toward Islamic art. So that's why I use this artwork is also the name of Allah. I don't know yet to focus. Okay, it's, uh, it's also digital. And this is a panel artwork. It is also like customized one. Yeah, you can customize in a different color, different size. And, but I usually, uh, for this exhibition, I print them out for small, little small, because uh, I think the wall where I'm going to exhibit is a quite limited area. So that's why these are quite small in size. And there is one more painting I will show you. This is also hand painted. And here I also use uh, hand painting. Yeah, we can see that, yes, yeah. Yeah, it, it, there is a texture there. And um, it's uh, Ismail Husna and uh, the names of Prophet uh, I wrote there with the Crowley. So, <laughs> Today is my fa I'm fasting and my energy is all lost. So. Uh, I mean, uh, we apologize for putting you here at this uh, time of the day, uh, you know, but uh, it's, uh, unfortunately, we haven't picked the right timing probably, but, you know, we couldn't have other timings as well. So, yeah, yeah sure. we're sorry, but uh, it's a wonderful uh, to see your works and, you know, uh, with the calligraphy and using those right colors, uh, you know, that's really attracting the way it is. Uh, it's beautiful work, uh, uh, Miss Asmin. Uh, Thank and I you. love your, the, the last work you showcased. We used it in our, uh, you know, advertising here. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. yeah these are uh, Miss Asmin's works. Uh, it's uh, Al Rahman Al Rahim. Uh, it's uh, the word. Uh, it's the name of this, and it's done on acrylic and gold leaves on canvas. Uh, as you can see, the work. Yeah, this is divine. It's a similar, uh, you know, lesser size, 40 by 48, as she showcased. Uh, it's a digital art. Yeah, this is another uh, set of works, uh, 40 by 40 centimeters digital art. Uh, Al Hayul Kayum, uh, that's name. And yeah, this is the prophet names she written as she explains 33 by 33 centimeters acrylic on canvas. So some nice works, Miss uh, um, Asmin. Thank you. Thank you. So we're introducing now our next artist, uh, uh, Dr. Hafsa Banu Abid. Dr. Hafsa is a dentist by profession and a passionate artist by soul, a resident of Oman for more than 30 years. She considers Oman as an artist abode, the beauty of which is always inspiring and uh, intriguing. The Dr. Hafsa's main uh, genre is uh, nail and string art. Uh, for the past few years and with which she incorporates other mediums too. The nail and string artwork gives a three-dimensional effect visually and is quite an intricate and unique form of art. She loves challenging herself through art and is working towards taking a rigid material such as nail and strings to a different level in the art world. Dr. Hafsa, you know, welcome you again. I think we've been part, you know, you've been part of our exhibition before and uh, wonderful again to see you here. And I know your works, it's, it's you, know, I, you know, difficult and it's a, it's a differentiate, uh, you know, with the rest of the artists also what you are doing and amazing stuff. So please, uh, you know, have your words and uh, showcase your work, Dr. Hafsa. Uh, we're not... Uh, uh, Dr. Hafsa, you, you are not audible. Yeah, now it's better, now, uh, yeah. I think you switched on, no? No, still same problem, Dr. Hafsa. Uh, we can't hear you, sorry. Can you join again from another device? Okay. Oh no, sorry, we can't hear you actually. So it will happen. Uh, don't worry. Again, uh, restart and uh, we show you. 
we come back to you again then. yeah okay thank you yeah so we'll come back to dr hafsa again in a minute so go back to our next artist that is how it works we will come back on this yeah so we're introducing the uh, uh, miss nilofar patel nilofar is an emerging indian artist based in dubai she has been uh, practicing art since many years and she's very passionate about her creative process in her work she deeply examines the form lately she has been exploring ways to create unique form of abstract art through blend of colors on her canvas she practices acrylic and mixed media techniques and also has unique way of using colors in her artworks her works has been largely appreciated worldwide she has also been uh, praised for her unique arabic calligraphy works Ms. Nilofar, uh, please uh, present yourself. I think your first time working uh, with Art Smiley. You know, welcome on board, uh, and it's a pleasure to having you here today. I think she's not here. Uh, she's Ms. not here. If you are there. Can you unmute yourself? I couldn't find her name. I think she's not there. Okay, just. Uh, Am I audible now? Yes, Dr. Hafsa. Yes. Okay. I'll these two works. We'll show them, and I'll come back to you. One second. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the work of uh, Miss Nilofar. It's a calligraphy works, and this uh, title uh, the letters, ninety by ninety two centimeters, acrylic on canvas. Sorry, I will not able to explain because I'm not a calligraphy artist. So this is another uh, work of her optimism. Uh, it's a uh, hundred fourteen by hundred eighteen centimeters, acrylic on canvas. Uh, it's uh, interesting stuff. Okay, now I will get back to Dr. Hafsa again. Okay. Yeah, sure. Now? Is it okay? Yeah, yes, we are. You are audible, Dr. Hobson. So, assalamualaikum, and my heartfelt greetings to one and all. I wish a blessed Ramadan, Kareem. Thank you, founders of Art Smiley, for the great introduction. The guest of honor, Miss Isha and Miss Amani. I'm so glad to be a part of this uh, exhibition, especially for the blessed month of Ramadan. So, as already mentioned, uh, uh, I'm a dentist by profession and a very passionate artist by soul who believes in challenges and pushes boundaries in the art world. So, my main genre is nail and string art. And as we all know, Ramadan is one of Allah's most gracious gifts to us, and it teaches us peace, harmony, and intensifies our pursuit towards good deeds. So I'm exhibiting six of my artworks, which revolves around the words and phrases in praise of Allah and from the Holy Quran. So I cannot show it over here because I've already shipped it uh, to Dubai. So I'm residing in Oman. So maybe if you present it, I can speak about that. Yeah, sure, I'll present them now. Yeah. of my artwork so I have tried to work in a series so with the same texture the same technique but different colors the first one which you're seeing with the which is textured in a pink background is pronounced as wama bikum min niyamatin Allah. so it means whatever you have a favor or deed is from Allah and we should always be thankful to him the next one please Yeah, it came. Ah, that Hafsa, it is there. Subhanallah. Yeah, Subhanallah. Hi. This is a, a texture in a blue background. And we, I have done all my work on wood and it's acrylic uh, with gold uh, nylon strings. All of them are in the same process. So Subhanallah, as we all know, is a meaning to glory to God. And we use it to praise to his creation and uh, bounties. So my next artwork is uh, MashaAllah, I think. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, it's presented already. I think it's getting late for you. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting a bit late. So it's textured in a brown uh, background. So this term, as we all know, is used to express contentment, joy, or thankfulness for an event or a person we mentioned. So MashaAllah is based on that. Uh, the fourth one is Kun Faya Kun. Which is, uh, it is based on a green background. This phrase is from the Holy Quran, uh, which means to be and it is, and represents the command of Allah to create this universe and its existence. 
My fifth artwork is uh, Allah Akbar and is placed on a black and gold background. So this is a very common phrase which we all hear, especially during the call of prayer and the prayer itself, which means God is the greatest. And my last artwork is pronounced as Alhamdulillah, which is placed on a white and a gray and a gold background. It means all praise to be Allah and to God or to thank God uh, in every situation, good or bad, as every situation is created by God. So these are all my artworks. So you all will be able to see it tomorrow, inshallah. Even if I'm not there, I'm so looking forward to all your uh, uh, words, kind words and comments. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Afsa. You know, really amazing. And the good part of this, in a lot of these words, we every day use it uh, in the day-to-day -day conversation. And it's, it's nicely put together, the colors. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, and it appeals to a lot of the buyers and especially our clients uh, who see it. Um, I'm hoping for, a, you know, I'm really excited to see these works. Uh, and so many nails. Uh, it's, it's so skilled. Uh, it's great work. Uh, you know, I'm really eager to see these uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hofstad. Yeah, I think she's done next year. So now our next artist, uh, um, Masha, uh, she's a Russian artist. Uh, Masha is a completely creative person, a professional musician, a saxophonist, a composer, and, a and arranger all uh, her life from young age. You know, but as an artist, she started drawing uh, since like five years ago, just as a hobby for herself in free time. In addition, she is engaged in mental therapy, conduct uh, correction sessions and of uh, spiritual orientation, uh, psychology, numerology and tarot reading, healing, deep meditations, uh, historical jiponsis. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean, sorry, some of these names are the first time I'm hearing. Also, she works as a writer, had uh, two published books uh, and many regular articles. And she's currently based in Dubai um, and her, have a link with uh, Russia and uh, Mexico. Miss uh, Masha, please, uh, you know, come on stage to talk a few words about uh, yourself and your work. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy. Thank you for this opportunity to participate in this uh, exhibition. Well, I'm Masha Kotskova. I'm from Russia, as you know already. I'm a professional jazz musician saxophone player, well, but recently I created my first collection as an artist. Uh, generally, in all my artworks, I reveal the theme of femininity and female energy. Uh, any artwork, from my point of view, is a concentration of a certain energy that comes through the one who creates it. Uh, thus, uh, art is a vibrational healing through the materialized energy. I believe in that. So it is a unique method of creating deep connection between us and sharing uh, high quality energy. So this is the idea. I feel my artworks uh, with the vibrations of feminine beauty, kindness, softness, and flexibility, uh, because I'm pretty sure that uh, these are the energies that heal the planet and each of us. This is the message. Yeah. Thank you, Masha. I think, uh, can you show her works, uh, Aruna? Yeah, I will show her works, yes. These are her works. So you can see this. Covered Universe. Yes. Covered Universe, yeah. This is it. Uh, this artwork is the one uh, from the collection, which I called uh, 25 Touches of Femininity. And um, this is my uh, point uh, of view uh, and the mysterious beauty of uh, femininity of Middle Eastern women. So uh, the tradition of covering the body of uh, women, uh, protect, protecting it from other people's view and thoughts, uh, remind of uh, the sanctity of the temple of the human soul. Well, uh, a, woman, a woman from my point of view is a whole world, covered universe, you know, you can try to understand it, you can try to learn it, but uh, even in this case, you will try to do this all your life. It, it's gonna be keeping hidden from the fully comprehension. That's it. Very well said. <laughs> this is uh, another work of art. 
So another one also, this is the part of this collection. And the name of this artwork is Eucharis. And Eucharis, originally, this is the name of amazing flower. And uh, the other name of this flower is the uh, Amazon lily. It's beautiful. Uh, so, but another meaning of this word is also Eucharist, like communion. And this is deep purification through touching the divine. You understand? <laughs> the touch of divine uh, femininity is the healing as a communion. This is the idea. Masha, are you doing uh, first time recently? I mean, you said five years, right? You've been doing that. Uh, and uh, I think it's oh. first time you're working with uh, our smiley. Have you done any exhibitions exactly. before? This is something like for me, I haven't seen, uh, you know, this is kind of unique, uh, you know, styles. I have not seen because I've seen many artists. Uh, you know. So thank what, you what for this work. <laughs> Thank you. It's look differentiating, uh, you know, something more uh, uh, slightly different. Uh, and, you you know, the way you're portraying the message uh, is so nice and beautiful as well. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Masha. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mr. Amin al Haq, uh, the work I think you're seeing on the back, uh, it is his work. I enjoyed actually and I uh, bought from him. Uh, so, he's a Pakistani artist based in Dubai and he's a self-taught artist who started drawing at an early stage. He received a great support from his family to strengthen his passion for art through the early, sorry, through the yearly activities and art workshop. He's inspired by his attraction toward the culture of his home country, Pakistan, customs and happiness and suffer, which take him to another level of inspirational creativity. And that is reflecting clearly on his choice on artwork and selection of art project. He's not here this evening, but we can showcase his uh, works. Yeah, this is two of the works he's uh, displaying at uh, Double Tree by Hilton. And uh, one is he do, he specialized in calligraphy and the horses. I've seen a lot of his horses with different styles and with different meanings. And uh, a great storyteller for his works um, and, a, and a beautiful work. This is called uh, asma e muhammad It's a 60 centimeter by one centimeters work, a large work. And it's uh, done on acrylic. This is horses, as we all see it here. It's a 129 by 76. And if you look at that, uh, you see that it's on the picture as you consider as three horses, but in fact, there are four. Uh, and that's the speciality of this work. The one is behind, we just on the first tie, we thought uh, it's always three horses, but there's fourth one behind. So a good work uh, of uh, Amin ul -Haq. Um, So let's go to our next artist. Yeah, this is uh, Ms. Sidra Hussain. Um, Sidra was born in Pakistan, but raised uh, in Qatar. She's a doctor by profession, but a passionate artist by heart. Currently residing in UAE, she was fond of painting since her childhood and participated in various art competitions. She believed art is a powerful means of communication and self-expression. It speaks louder than words and also has the strength to transform, educate, and motivate. Calligraphy is her new passion because she finds it a very interesting way to express her words and thoughts. Additionally, it enabled her to further enhance her creativity and skills. Ms. Sidra, uh, please, uh, you know, welcome on board to say a few words about yourself and your artworks. Uh, is it okay, Ms. Sidra? I think you're uh, having, uh, you know, other responsibility looking after your kid. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Actually, uh, I'm alone at home now, so I'm only one with him. That's why. Sure. Uh, good evening, on. everyone. Yeah, Can you hear evening. me? Yes, yes, we can hear you, Ms. Sidra. Please go on. My name is Sidra Hussain, and uh, I'm a doctor by profession. And uh, uh, I'm fond of art since my childhood. So uh, my father, he always wants me. He, he doesn't like artists. So he always wanted a doctor in his home. So I have to pursue my career in a medical field. Uh, and uh, I uh, didn't find much time for my artwork during my medical studies. So I have completed my studies. So I think it's the right time uh, to continue uh, my passion. And uh, as this is the Ramzan exhibition, so I have uh, uh, two paintings and I, these both are uh, calligraphy paintings. 
and can i show my work now yes uh, yeah aruna please this is a work uh, on yeah. go on sir this is a uh, verse kabhi ahi alive rabbi ko matu kazibaan and the meaning of this verse is which of the favor of your lord would you deny that's why i have given the title to this painting favor and uh, the i have given the uh, marble touch in the background and the color is uh, maroon and uh, black and the, this is the acrylic paint in the background and the calligraphy is done by the marker it's uh, with the golden marker uh, the marker was oil based and the reason of choosing this particular uh, verse is Uh, this because whenever i see my parents and whenever i see my son and whenever i see uh, any happiness around me this particular verse it's automatically came in my mind that which of the favor of your lord would you deny that's why i have chosen this and uh, because it's our ramadan so that's why um, i think uh, calligraphy is the best thing in this month and yes. the other one is the uh, this one is the green uh, this green painting uh, the meaning of this verse is uh this is by the grace of my lord and the background is uh, with acrylic paint and the calligraphy is done done by black ink and the reason of choosing uh, this verse is this uh, because uh, this pandemic this covid 19 pandemic uh, because many people are dying from this pandemic and uh, most of them are on ventilator and on artificial oxygen and most of the people have lost their jobs but alhamdulillah my family is safe and i have food on my table and i am breathing without any artificial support or any ventilator so i think it's the biggest blessing in this pandemic and this is due to the uh, this, this is only by the grace of uh, my lord that's why i have chosen this particular verse and giving its name of blessing thank you dr sidra i mean it's a great i mean it's i know you have a passion and you're continuing and also you fulfill your parents wishes you know it's always a challenge uh, you know which one to choose but you're carrying both the battles uh, so that's great and uh, you know it's honor to presenting you and uh, again we have many doctors coming on board uh, with the passion you know some for some it is uh, like uh, um, a passion some for some is more than a passion it's you know they come out from the work and they feel it very peaceful and uh, taking a brush on a canvas so it's a great uh, pleasure to you know showcasing your work here uh, thank you dr sidra thank you so much so we now uh, talk about uh, ms uh, maria bedrosian uh, maria is an american artist uh, and now based in dubai uae she is passionate about uh, painting and drawing as a primary medium her journey started as a young child with pencil and shadows and has since evolved into oils and acrylic paintings which she relish crafting she participated in several exhibitions like world art dubai the hotel show she sell paintings online as well creating beautiful pieces is something she take great pride in and in each painting she try to craft something unique from within herself inspired by the beauty she see around her miss maria please uh, welcome on board to say a few words uh, about yourself and your artworks hi yes uh, so uh, ramadan mubarak for all um i am uh, maria bedrosian uh, armenian artist but uh, i based in dubai i live from 10 years actually here uh, i born in arabic country as well so i live i like the arabic uh, traditional um uh, also i am uh, studying uh, Arch- like uh, architecture drawing institute because i love drawing so that's why um i study this uh, architecture drawing i draw on uh, also on uh, autocad uh 2d and 3d uh but i like painting i cannot stop from my small age until now i am doing the drawing so and i love the arabic uh, as i as i tell the arabic uh, traditional culture 
that's why I like to participate and the, by my this drawing to Ramadan exhibition. Okay, sure. I'll showcase your work. Here. Yeah, this is the one she's exhibiting. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, mixed media. I uh, use also acrylic. So I paint this uh, Arabic coffee a kettle and uh, I do some um, um, I am good uh, as drawing more than <laughs> No, I mean, your work speaks anyway. I mean, it's showcasing the local culture with Arabic tea pot, uh, I know, coffee, or you yes. can say, yeah, it's nicely done. Uh, no. and, uh, yeah. Yeah, full of color, because the full of color means to me uh, much warm and uh, yeah. uh, cozy moment. And the symbols bottom, it's like a mask style, uh, you know, uh, probably, uh, yeah showcasing the culture of, uh, you know, the Arabic culture in this painting. Beautifully done. It's 70 by 50 centimeter acrylic colors. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much for being with us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you. So now we are uh, introducing Miss uh, Yulia Salamenia. Yulia was born in uh, Rondo, um, Gradano. Belarus in 1989, having grown up in a beautiful, uh, picturesque green country in a city with European style architecture. Yulia began to draw from last five years. Uh, she graduated from art school and uh, Anku Kupala University in Brano, studied with uh, teachers uh, Nikolai and Alexander Zendiv. Um, you know, Yulia participated in the exhibitions in. Brano, Minsk, Moscow, Dubai. In 2013, she moved from Belarus to United Arab Emirates. She works mainly in the style of abstract decorative painting. She paints uh, portraits, animal portraits, still life, flowers, and uh, landscapes. Uh, yeah, Yulia been with us, uh, participating almost quite a lot of uh, exhibitions for more than a couple of years, I think now. Uh, um, yeah, some of her works uh, can be showcased here. I think she's not here, so we'll just uh, show you her works. Yeah, yeah, this is her work. Yeah, this is a festive fireworks in Dubai. Yeah, showcasing uh, palm with the uh, fireworks on. Uh, yeah, at Palm Jumeirah Atlantis Hotel. I think yeah, Atlantis hot. Hotel. Uh, yeah. So this is 80 by 80 centimeters acrylic on canvas. And uh, I like the flag we are showing. Around. So yeah, it's one of the symbolic, uh, uh, you know, places to visit. So it's, I would say, yeah, it's a good work. And uh, she put it in a realistic uh, with nice colors and, you know, the fireworks have been showcased nicely uh, with an Arabic family around. So Yulia is not here to talk about it. So we we'll go back to our next, uh, another artist, uh, Miss Sinai Bojakut. Uh, sorry if I pronounce it wrongly. Um, it's, uh, she's a Turkish artist. Sinai graduated from uh, Pamukkala University Faculty of Education Department of Painting in 2001. Since 2001, she was appointed to the Ministry of National Education as a visual arts teacher. In 2012, she enrolled in Kutaya Damalpunar University and Graphics Department for Postgraduate Education. Since 2018, as an art teacher, she has been teaching visual arts to gifted students of the Science and Art Center. She took part in many national and uh, international group exhibitions until now. I think Ms. Sanaya is also not there here, so we just uh, run past her works as well. Yeah, this is uh, our uh, direction, Kaba. I mean, this is like in, I think, Makha. Uh, you know, the same mask, it's seen it. And so it showcased then, uh, it's done in on a paper with colors, ink colors. Uh, um, I think, yeah. Yeah, very nice work. Um, She's been exhibiting with us from last few exhibitions continuously online. Uh, these paintings are not for sale, but she's continuously exhibiting. Okay, yeah. That's the work. And now we'll be introducing uh, Ms. Svetlana. Uh, Svetlana was born in Kazakhstan and currently situated in Dubai with her two kids in 
uh, two, two kids is an artist by heart, starting from early years. Uh, she wanted to be an artist. However, uh, life led her other ways. Uh, and by profession, she became a contract specialist in oil and gas industry. Living in the UAE, Svetlana finds uh, inspiration in the nature around vast spaces of the desert, sand dunes, mountains, the sea, beautiful flowers, gorgeous uh, flamingos, and endlessly more other things. Uh, Ms. Rathlana, the you know, platform is here to showcase your work and talk about yourself. Again, uh, you know, oil and gas industry and art continuing the passion is something uh, unique and great. Uh, a lot of uh, you know, women artists are doing today, they have passion you know, carrying the battle and that's a great inspiration to everybody. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. And Ramadan Karim. Uh, thank you. It's just second time I'm participating uh, with the Art Smile on this exhibition. And uh, I created something new <laughs> this time. And uh, yes, I'm not a professional artist, this, but it's, this is always part of me. And now I have more time here. Uh, uh, like I quit my job, I, I moved to Dubai, and now I'm more as a housewife. I um, have lots of different stuff with two kids. You know, women are always busy, mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> still, I have lots of time for uh, for my hobby, for my passion, for the painting, and I'm really happy now. And. Uh, uh, I'm happy that my family supports this too. So this time, uh, I, and I also wanted to say special thank you uh, to my teacher, uh, whom I found here in Dubai, and you also know her, it's uh, Yulia Salomone. Uh, yes, she, she became my teacher, my mentor. She explained the beauty techniques, and I'm so happy that I met her here. And as I'm a self-taught um, artist, but now she gives me more help and I started to create more different things. And I, I will show you later, um, maybe for the next exhibitions. But this time I created this quite a big painting. It's 120 centimeters uh, by 90. And it, this is the, like inspired by uh, our visit to the Malaysia Desert. This is the camel rock. And it's a sunset. And usually when they, uh, like the sun goes down and you still think what, what the next day will give to you. Maybe this is the best time to think what what happened and what will happen. You know, like it, uh, to think about the future and maybe, maybe to change something. Uh, so this is inspired by this nature, and uh, I think I think that uh, the other people will also look at this uh, painting and will will maybe think about any changes in the life which will be for good. So thank you very much, Art Smiley. Thank you. Thank you, Svetlana. It's uh, wonderful to you know see your work and uh, listen to your words about your uh, you know passion towards art. Okay, um, this is um, Svetlana, and this is her work, uh, "Sunset in the Desert," one twenty by ninety centimeters. Uh, it's done on acrylic paints and acrylic texture paste uh, she used on the canvas. Uh, yeah, it's a large piece. Good, nice work. So we will be introducing now uh, Ms. Kadambani Chobe. She's a Dubai-based self-taught artist uh, dealing mainly in oil and acrylic colors. Uh, she likes to deposit uh, her paintings through a combination of uh, hue, tone, line, shape, and texture. Her paintings are inspired by natural and realistic themes. She born and brought up in India. She was always passionate about uh, sketching and painting. As a hobby, she used to spend time coloring and crafting through, never took uh, it as her career. Her love for art grew parallel along with studies and the job. She likes to paint floral blooms and realistic portraits using a variety of colors and shades. She believed that she will learn something new every time she make a new painting. They gave her a lot of inspiration and creative visualization. Ms. Chobe, uh, the 
you know the place the platform is here to say a few words and uh, you know showcase your works yeah hello everybody good evening and uh, i am kadambini chobe and uh, this is the first time i am exhibiting with uh, art smiley thank you art smiley for giving me such a, a good platform for exhibition and uh, i uh, art uh, and uh, painting has always been my passion and uh, today i am here with my uh, painting which is 70 by 50 uh, acrylic painting on canvas uh, i'm not able to show is it visible now yeah now it's better yeah, you can a little bit move this <laughs> move to Sorry. this better so this is a painting I made uh, thinking in mind of an uh, Arabic uh, woman. Uh, uh, as we all know, women are the most uh, fragile or we consider as the most fragile or tender or you can say the most sensitive part of our family. But uh, on the other side, they are the most uh, strongest and the, and the most uh, supportive members of the family and they are the ones who are who play a uh, very important role in uh, decision making in uh, educating the kids and uh, also they are the the pioneers who maintain the traditional values and uh, especially when we talk about arab culture which is uh, mainly driven with uh, by uh, generosity dignity honor so uh, there is a lot of respect for Arabic women, and this is the main theme for my uh, Ramadan uh, painting. I hope you like it, and uh, I hope uh, I would be exhibiting more of my paintings with the coming uh, upcoming exhibitions. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Ms. Kalambaniya. It's uh, you know some of the elements I can see that you picked realistic work. And especially the eyes, certain parts you've done brilliantly. And I think a lot more scope, obviously, for improvement, I can see it. I don't know how long you've been practicing that. But it's a wonderful effort. Thank you so much. Yeah. So this is Incredible Oman, uh, titled. It's a 50 by 70 centimeters acrylic artwork on canvas. So now I'll be introducing uh, Ms. Madhumati. Uh, she's an Indian artist, Madhumati, currently residing in UAE. She is basically from India, Tamil Nadu. She had uh, completed a BE engineering in computer science and, and has worked as an uh, IT software engineer. She's passionate uh, about painting from her childhood and started painting when she was 10 years old. According to her, art is something uh, which your heart says and your hands do. She believed Every human is an artist in one or other way. She do portraits, abstract, a finger painting, and oil painting as well. Mr. Madhumati, the stage is yours sir, to say a few words sir, about you and your artwork, sir. So, hi, everybody. I hope I'm audible. So, I'm Madhu yeah. and I'm from India. As he said, like uh, I started my uh, career as an IT software engineer, but I was passionate about painting. It's not more than passion. I don't know why I always loved painting from my childhood. And like from my childhood, I'm painting. So I can't say <laughs> when it all started. So I just love painting. And uh, so so I have a kid and he's 2.5. And like it, everybody say it is difficult, but actually I make time. I sacrifice. I sleep less time. I had sleepless night and I do painting. So this is how like it all started. And the encouragement from my family, so I, I thought, okay, let me give it a try and make it into a career. So, uh, being a mother, apart from being a mother, I, uh, I, lo I love being an artist. And Art Smiley, thank you so much uh, for uh, like helping me take part in this, and also patiently responding me in every aspect. Like whatever I may ask you, it may be silly, but thank you so much. All those things, no, helped me, uh, made me more comfortable. So I'll just uh, uh, explain about my paintings. Uh, so this is my first painting and it is finger painting. Like uh, you can see yeah, the painting is completely finger painting. 
i mostly i mostly use bold colors uh, most of them will be of uh, red and yellow i i usually i usually uh, put these colors into my paintings i so this is my first painting that is finger painting and it is an abstract uh the second one is a bit cute one which is in uh shade side moss uh this painting uh i have used both acrylic and uh, oil i'm mostly into oil paintings i love um, the blend of oil how it goes so the top portion is completely oil and the bottom is completely acrylic and the last painting of mine is holy space uh, this is something uh, this displays the beauty of moss from inside so i love drawing the small human and so basically i love drawing human portrait and so the best part i found in this was the small works which a mosque has i mean i i got uh, being a non muslim i was admired by the small works and details they have inside the mosque and it was really very beautiful and also the people i love drawing them and uh, I'm, I'm. I usually paint photographs. I'm like attracted to a photograph. So if I find it very beautiful, I, I make sure I have to do that. I have to share that in the canvas. And so this is what I have done. I hope you guys will like it. And a little bit of encouragement from everybody would like help me do more and more being a mother. So thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Madhumati. And uh, it's you know the platform is really kind of people coming in like you, and we encourage every time when we do exhibitions, we see at least a few of them you know coming on board. We also make sure that we give the opportunity, and that's the whole purpose of our smile. Yeah, and it's really brilliant, and the passion you're continuing is amazing. And uh, you know you have already uh, developing good skills, and you're showcasing some nice work. Uh, I'm sure uh, you know um, as you practice more and more, uh, it will be further. Uh, you know, it can mature into a much better artist as well. And don't say that. I mean, don't mean that the current works you've done are not good, but they're really nice. Uh, you know, it's there's uh, and good part of it. Uh, you know, you're trying to be as much realistic, involving people and what you see it. You know, little calligraphy like the Arabic words, everything you're putting together. So that's the beauty of it, and it's a really a lovable work. So thank you. Thank you, sir. So that's Madhumati and her works, uh, you know, three of her works. The Holy Space, 40 by 30 centimeter oil painting. And Praise the Lord, 40 by 30 centimeters acrylic painting. So this is Sheikh Zayed Grand Mask and yeah, showcase in a different way, it's very nice. 60 by 90 centimeter as well. So now we'll be introducing, uh, thanks Madhu, uh, it's a pleasure. And this is now we're introducing uh, uh, Miss Truna Daniela. So this is, she's a Romanian artist, uh, lives and works in Rome. Uh, she studied in uh, Academy of Fine Arts of uh, Rome, Italy, specializing painting masters. Uh, in 2005, she won the silver medal at the Olympiads. Uh, of uh, La Francophonie, the arts and culture competition in France. She have organized several exhibitions and uh, forgiving and collecting collective events. Currently an assistant in the painting studio of the artist uh, Alberto Di Fabio. She participated in the group exhibition, uh, Romanian Art Fashion, uh, hosted at the Galleria Domus Romana. So uh, she has, I mean, I think she's participating uh, in before also. It's again, a, a beautiful uh, uh, work of uh, Ms. Truna. So, you know, she's not been here, unfortunately, today, but these are her two works uh, and amazing. Uh, you know, I, I really, this is a true artistic works in a, in a such a, a skill in it and the details and, you know, she wear the way she's been done it. It should have been really nice. Uh, the artist being with us and explain her works. So, yeah. This is two of the works of uh, Miss uh, Struna. This is uh, one of the called uh, Panthecelia, 100 by 100 centimeters, mixed in media on canvas. This is Goddess Masks, uh, 70 by 100 centimeter, mixed uh, technique, acrylic on pastels on canvas. And these paintings are shipped from Romania, actually. They are with us now. So tomorrow we will be exhibiting them at Double Tree by Hilton. 
Okay, tomorrow you can see them physically. I think before we exhibited only these works online. So tomorrow they are available physically. Yeah. So now we are uh, showcasing Miss Minika SK. Minika is a self-taught artist uh, based in Middle East. Uh, she's from Bahrain and she's not, I think, here available. Uh, but I know her whole school day, she was noticed, uh, uh, noticed for her extraordinary paintings that set her apart from her fellow mates. Uh, her abstract paintings uh, depict optimism, steering the viewer towards an era of imaginary speaking volumes. Uh, these paintings created uh, are a reflection not only of herself, but of her uh, various experiences of life, reflecting a wide array of emotions and thoughts, connecting its viewers to some part of themselves. She works with both oil and acrylic mediums, stating that sometimes the challenge exists in exceeding boundaries, thus obtaining a, a newer and higher level. She's been working with uh, so many years, actually now I think two, three years, she's working continuously with, uh, with us and she's an artist based out from uh, Bahrain. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, so few of, this is our works. Um, yeah, this is the only one work, yeah. She's, she also shipped, shipped it to us. So we are exhibiting tomorrow at Double Tree by Hilton. She's actually based in Bahrain. So this is the work, Break Free, 91 by 61 centimeter, acrylic on canvas painting. Okay, I will introduce next artist, Miss Saima Hassan. She's an Indian artist based in Dubai for almost a decade now. She has deep rooted interest in nature and all the things around her that are pure and free from human influence. From a very young age, she was attracted towards colors and was fascinated by the idea of using them to express her feelings. Over the years, she kept on exploring her passion but got real direction to her thoughts and skills from her graduate school where she learned commercial arts. She's also been completely exhibiting with us since we started continuously exhibiting. She's not here right now, but we can showcase her works. Yeah, again, uh, Saima been us uh, with us for many, many exhibitions. Uh, so she do different kinds of works. So this is mainly on the Ramadan theme. Uh, she's showcasing these works. Uh, uh, it's a quite a number of collections, mostly into Arabic culture and the theme. Yeah, so al fan al Asal, uh, original art, 50 by 60 centimeters, mixed media artwork this is. So the origin of civilization, Asal Al Hadra. So this is called 60 by 90 centimeters and the oil colors. Baobat Al Sata, door of happiness in English. So it's 50 by 60 centimeters, acrylic colors. Asul Al Shark, originals from the East. So it's called 90 by 120 centimeters, the size. And it's on oil colors, uh, very much uh, to local culture and uh, more to the theme. This is of Pillars of Hope uh, and this 30 by 40 centimeters oil colors. This is a royal um, inside view, it's 30 by 40 centimeters, again, oil and colors. Okay, this is a call indeed uh, in the dates there is a cure. Uh, so it's a 22 by 17 and a half centimeter pencil colors uh, work. Yeah. And she practices different works and different styles. So this is a pure for uh, works. Zaman al Asal. So time of originality. Uh, it's uh, in English. So it's a 60 by 90 centimeter. It's done on oil and co oil colors. Uh, Yeah, and now we're introducing uh, Miss Asma Nauman. Uh, she's a born as an artist, a born artist. She used to love nature, always uh, mesmerizing with the different weathers, loving the colors of autumn, the silent winters, and the brightness of summer. So, so in fact, she loves all the seasons. <laughs> Taking inspiration from nature was in her soul. The depth of ocean, non-ending skies, feeling of... Uh, raindrops, the texture of uh, snowflakes and the stars beyond the sky were her childhood friends. As she grew older, her love for nature increased uh, limitlessly. A self-taught artist who has developed the expertise through 
unending uh, experiences and challenges of life and that can be clearly seen in the artworks uh, so she has been exhibiting uh, since uh, last couple of times ms asma the stage is yours uh, and uh, showcase uh, your artworks and say a few words about yourself is she here hello good evening everybody guest of honor and all my lovely uh, fellows uh, i hope you are in very good health um actually i am little you know uh, uh, actually occupied because i've been shifting so i cannot express my feelings that way the way i do but i'll try my best <clears throat> okay um uh, first of all i can see the horses painting mr loot behind you it's looking amazing so beautiful thank you okay um can i have my um uh, i don't know if you don't mind can i have my paintings can i see them and i can explain them yes sure i'll share them now okay. yes yes uh, first i'll describe about the red uh, the red one uh, it says allah you know you know the allah is actually uh, it's so beautiful itself a very beautiful typography so all the types you know uh, the lines itself you can there's so many things there's so many things that you can do you know uh, with these types of allah and this is one simple type that i have used um, calligraphy is always you know a uh, very very challenging uh, uh, work but i have tried this time um, because of my theme uh, so this allah is you know i have tried to portray it in a way that you know everything is revolving around a creator everything like you know if you see uh electron proton they revolve around uh, all the atoms they are revolving right in that way similarly you know the things the universe everything is so revolving around one unit so i i have tried here to show that the world of allah the, the word of allah the universe is like you know surrounding and continuously they are circulating uh, circulating around the word of allah and the different color compositions and you know the different um uh, the different depth i have tried to uh, you know shown in uh, here okay my next painting is yes it's the lailatul qadr the night of power uh i'm sure most of you know it if some uh, some of you don't know it i'll just uh, be little ex uh, uh, i'll give you a little explanation that uh, you know in ramadan the last um, nights the last 10 days there are five nights alternatively five nights they uh, it comes and on among those five nights we need to search for a single one night and this is called lailatul qadr the night of power and you know that night is so powerful it's so powerful that you know the angels come down from the heaven from the skies and bring us blessings you know rahma hidayat you so many blessings they bring down for the people who are praying who are praising allah and as i said calligraphy is a very challenging work it's not very easy but you know i really love to you know go into challenges so i have tried this time this aya i have taken from quran and uh, this is the surah this is the verse from the surah from surah qadr actually it says salamun hiya hat hiya hatta matla al fajr that means blessing is coming throughout the night till the rise of sun till fajr time so the whole night is so much it has it has so many gifts it has so many blessing not only for this world but year after as well so all kind of your risk your uh, your success your happiness your love everything comes down that night and uh, they say that um, in quran it's written that if you do one good deed it's better than doing 1000 months if you continuously doing 1000 months a good deed it's better than that to do this in particular one night so i have tried to show you know the all the i've used stones you know actually i have uh, actually experimented in this uh, canvas 
um, I have used many glittering effect and I have used stones over it so that it can have a, you know, real feeling that things are coming down, the crystals, the stones, the diamonds, you know, they're coming down. And if you can see, there is a whirlpool kind of thing. It's actually rotating again. It's rotating. You know, whenever, if you see there are so many uh, healing powers, if, if every, anybody has noticed that healing powers, it always comes in circular motion. If you do healing for someone, if you do into these meditation kind of things, you know, they never come straight like rain. They always come in circulation. So I have tried to show those circular movement, you know, coming down towards earth. And in, among those circular movement, I have shown a crescent that indicates Ramadan as well. So that's about it. Thank you, Asma. I mean, as always, uh, you know, you have a lot Thank of you, energy. Sir. Even in Ramadan fasting, you have plenty of energy to, you know, that's the passion and spirit. Uh, you know, a very, so very good storyteller of yourself. I know I love Thank it, you know, so listening much. to you. Uh, you, know, you know, it's good to see uh, Thank you so much. again, once again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aruna. You're always my love. <laughs> Okay. okay, this is uh, uh, Asma's works, and now I introduce uh, Miss Uzma Kuram. She's a Pakistani artist. Uh, uh, she's an inspiring, aspiring mother of uh, three boys who's passionate about works of Islamic calligraphy making. She used acrylic paintings to create unique backgrounds on which she calligraphy beautiful Arabic words from the Holy Quran. The goal is to achieve in each work of art is to create something astounding from words that have such powerful meanings within them. The message she hoped to convey is the strong meaning and beauty of Islamic paintings. The Islamic world's art represents its cultural value and shows a Muslim's perspective on great beauty. Yeah. Ms. Usma, welcome on board with Art Smiley. Yeah. And, yeah, stage is yours. Thank Please you say very much. Words. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Art Smiley team and every, all the participants. I am very grateful that I am a part of this uh, and uh, especially Art Smiley who gave, you know, the platform to all, uh, you know, artists uh, so we can exhibit over, you know, paintings and everything. Uh, my name is Uzma Khuram and as you know, I am an Arabic calligrapher and uh, I'm doing this calligraphy since uh, some times and I'm doing also abstract painting. So abstract painting, uh, you can see uh, actually uh, I, uh, in my paintings, the background is abstract painting. And in, on this, I am doing the calligraphy, which is like, you know, uh, I'm doing Khat Salus uh, calligraphy. So actually I merge my uh, writing skills with my painting skills. And in this uh, uh, Ramadan exhibition, I uh, made two paintings of mine. So I will show this one. That's it. Yeah, this is uh, 120 by 90. And this I wrote the one surah, Surat Asr. And this is very beautiful surah in the Quran. It has, you know, very beautiful message. It gives us message of patience and truth, uh, which we also have to practice and also, you know, motivate others to practice. Uh, this is actually the words of the surah. And, and uh, also you can see my painting, the abstract painting. It's like, you know, everything is, I'm doing that like painting and it's merged with my writing skills. So it's uh, the uh, painting, I use the pouring uh, technique. So, uh, and abstract, uh, you know, uh, uh, by like this. So, and the second, my painting is um, uh, Lohe Qurani. And this is like uh, the, also the words of Quran, beautiful words of Qurans. And uh, this is very simple also, but they also contain a very strong message. So these two pain paintings I'm exhibit tomorrow and wish you all the best, wish all the, uh, you know, uh, we are participating, everyone, good luck and also Art Smiley. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Susma. It's a pleasure having you here and uh, showcasing your artworks. Yeah. So this is uh, Ms. Uzma Kuram and this uh, works. Uh, um, again, a very nice uh, way of uh, calligraphy with colors is an uh, you know, amazing selection. This is Surah Al Asr, 90 by 120 centimeters, acrylics on canvas. Yeah. 
Lohe Korani, uh, 50 by 70 centimeters acrylic on canvas. That's yeah, the two of the works uh, she's showcasing uh, this evening and uh, hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow at the physical exhibition she is exhibiting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So thank you, Ms. Uzma. Uh, now I'll be thank you very much. introducing uh, Ms. Lubna Zunaid. Uh, Lubna Zunaid is, a, is also from Pakistan and a passionate artist who has love towards Arabic calligraphy. Uh, she's a fortunate enough to complete multiple courses, including online and in-person classes to refine her skills as a calligraphist and as an artist in general. Her canvases often contain uh, Islamic uh, uh, verses from the holy book, which is the Quran, as it represents her faith and adds depth to her art since each word is extremely close to her heart. Close to her heart. She uses uh, a range of art mediums, including acrylic paint, oil paint, and alcoholic ink, to produce canvases and try to make uh, each piece slightly unique by using many different techniques uh, to stay authentic. Uh, so, Ms. Lubna, I think she's not here. Uh, we will be showcasing her works. Huh? Hello, good evening. Oh, she's here, huh? Okay. Good evening, uh, hi, hi, Lubna. Hi. Please uh, talk about uh, yourself and your artworks. Huh? Thank you so much for giving, giving me the opportunity to exhibit my work. I'm an emerging artist and uh, I recently started Arabic calligraphy and uh, I'm having fun in this. And I don't know, I, I love to do Arabic calligraphy because it's, uh, I, write, I write the Quranic verses and they are close to my heart. So the um, thing that I'm showcasing, the painting, I will show you the it's either Kursi, and uh, I've, uh, I've given a 3D touch to this painting. Okay. So the 3D touch, it uh, creates a depth, and this depth shows the message. This, is, this message is very deep and strong. I've uh, used a very limited color palette, like black, that shows the strong and the uh, um, strength and authority and all these, which is related to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, the, the background, the, uh, the 3D effect, it gives that, like, uh, you can see the layers in this. These all layers, they have a center point and it's leading to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my message in this painting was very simple, yet very elegant, yet very strong, that everything revolves around Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every part has its center and it's, it leads to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. So this was my painting. I would like to showcase more of my paintings, but unfortunately, uh, you, do not, uh, you didn't have this space for another painting. So inshallah, next time I will showcase more of my paintings. And uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to exhibit my work. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lubna. It's uh, great again. Uh, inshallah, hopefully we will uh, showcase you more of your works uh, in the near future. Yeah. And this is... Uh, thank you. This is the title depth and 64 by 94 centimeters acrylic paints. Yeah, I like the 3D effect of this work actually. So inside you can see the depth and uh, coming off, it's coming up and up like that. It's very nice. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful way uh, again. It's uh, very close to my heart. <laughs> Thank you. It's really nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. So now we're, uh, we're going to introduce Dr. Shilpi Rai. Uh, Dr. Shilpi Rai is an artist and an oncologist by profession. She is a self-taught artist who specializes in acrylics and knife painting. Her art is a portrayal of her feelings and moods. She's a true dreamer and like her dreams, her paintings are colorful, vibrant and uh, full of life. She teaches painting to children and adults in her spare time as she enjoys uh, the process of watching people unleash their creativity. She has been honored as a judge of several painting competitions in a line through she firmly feels that creativity cannot be ranked, that everyone has a unique perspective which is beautiful in its own way. It's a beautiful, uh, well-written words, uh, Dr. Shilpi. I think she's not here, but we will be showcasing her works. Uh. 
this is work uh, she is going to showcase it at, uh, with us uh, this evening and also for the tomorrow's exhibition it's al noor mask a light festival a ramadan kareem and it's the title it's done on acrylics and mixed media 80 by 80 centimeter yeah this is the only work she's exhibiting okay the work So this is our uh, art, another artist, Miss Nabila Shifai. Nabila Shifai is a self-taught calligrapher from India. She started her journey since 2012, gained interest uh, through her father. After completing school, she joined the free Arabic calligraphy classes at uh, CS in 2015 and got to learn a lot from the legend calligrapher of India, Naeem Sabri. Then in 2016, she got an opportunity to volunteer and teach at uh, Siasat, Siasat and participate in a calligraphy competition. She have achieved first prize in Arabic and English calligraphy after winning the competition in uh, Siasat 2016. And she got to know a lot of professional calligraphers from India and joined uh, the group named uh, Indian uh, Penmanship. So I think Ms. Nabila is also not available this evening. This is her work, sir. So this is all. Okay. Yes, that's it. And yeah, uh, before we say, I mean, uh, Vikash, are you there, Vikash? Yeah, I think he's here, but... Uh... Hi, Vikash. Okay, I mean, anyway, so it's, uh, you know, uh, nice to see a lot of calligraphy works because of the Ramadan theme. Uh, and uh, it's, it's been, uh, you know, a great pleasure uh, to having you all here this evening. And we will be presenting this video in all the social media platforms. Please, uh, you know, share it uh, with your network and tag them, us. And, you know, we make sure all efforts from our side as well. And we will also be showcasing, uh, I know, I think majority of these works tomorrow at Double Tree by Hilton. And we will also do a live uh, Instagram, uh, you know, propaganda from tomorrow as well. So we try to encourage and, uh, you know, showcase these artworks to as many people as possible. And you guys also been, uh, you know, been active enough, uh, at least in the minimum, as a minimum, we expect uh, to share in your networks. Uh, that'll be helpful. Uh, and you know you all this exhibition will be lasting for a month so you always welcome uh, the people uh, you know interested to go and see exhibit visit this exhibition as well and uh, for all the updates uh, as always we recommend the followers uh, our uh, social media pages whether it's facebook instagram or uh, twitter any of the accounts you see daily posts and uh, you know upcoming news events everything so thank you again uh, uh, for being with us this evening and uh, it's a wonderful uh, you know, working with you all. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you. And uh, all the listeners, uh, please, if you like any of the artworks or interested uh, to know more about them, please reach us. You either uh, through our WhatsApp number or through the email ID mentioned in this, uh, uh, you know, a PowerPoint picture here, what we are showcasing. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks. And uh, have a Ramadan, Kareem. Have a rest of the nice evening. Uh, and uh, hopefully have a great time to all of you. Okay, thank you so much, all of you, Ramadan Karim, to all of you as well. Okay, hope to see most of you tomorrow at the exhibition, Double Tree Hilton Hotel Business Bay. And the Instagram live will be at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So please make sure to join as well, and the installation will be done by that time. So our guest will be there as well at 4 p.m., but it's not an official uh, inauguration, but she will be there because yeah, of the... Ms. Isha will and, also be there, yeah. Yeah, Ms. Isha will be there as well. But it's not uh, like a group gathering, it's nothing like that, okay? Because we don't have permission to do that at the hotel. But she will be there and uh, she can visit all the works exhibited over there. And the artist, if you want to come back again at 4 p.m. after handovering the artworks in the morning, please feel free to come. But uh, not to get many people, only of you, only yourself you can come like that, yeah? And during the whole month, you can uh, invite your visitors or collectors, anybody. So they can come anytime. It's open 24 by 7 and there is valid parking available as well. So please feel free to invite and you can visit also anytime. Okay. Thank you so much. Ella. Thank you guys. Uh, have a nice evening. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.